Okay, Jay's Tunnel here. Today, we got a sea nettle, and these things sting real bad. So I'm gonna just put it in here real quick. It look, whoa! Ooh, yeah! Eee! Okay, now these, since these things sting real bad, I'm gonna try to limit my, uh, how much I touch it. I just wanna get some of the sand off of it so that it can start swimming around for us because we can get a real good look at this thing. Now, if y'all have seen a sea nettle before, um, they come in a various uh, colors, like some are, the one I got today is white, um, and, and I don't see many markings on the top as far as color, but sometimes you can find them and they'll have like reddish colors on them. Whenever they wash up at the beach, they just look like a round uh, jelly clear ball that's on the ground. But if you can actually get it in water, like what I've done right here, and I can actually see this thing is starting to kind of pulse like this. That's how they move through the water is with a bell on top. And uh, it has tentacles that go all the way around the edges. And those tentacles, uh, it's got about 40 of them. Uh, they can sting. Uh, and then it's also got these oral arms that come out in the middle uh, of the body from from down below so below the bell and that's how they feed okay so i got this thing in the water uh, most of the sand is off of it now uh, but this bucket i have isn't quite deep enough so what i'm going to try to do is i've got a bigger bucket i'm going to put it in the bucket and see if we can get it to where it stretches out because the tentacles of this thing uh, although around the bell and you got the arms in the middle when you can see it all stretched out, it really gives you perspective of like how big these things are. Now, uh, these aren't, these are similar to the man of war, you know, um, not really, I'm thinking of stinging anyway. So stinging, um, the man of war by far is worse. Uh, the stinging nettle, it'll get on you, it hurts for maybe 10, 20 minutes. So it's definitely not like the man of war, which lasts like three hours. Uh, Man of Wars is by far the worst. Now these things are carnivorous and uh, you'll see them eating the typical kind of food that you see jellyfish eating. Uh, so you, uh, you know, probably some crustaceans, some fish, things like that. But what's different about these is they actually eat other jellyfish. Uh, so they're pretty hardcore. Now another species that we've talked about before is the comb jelly. So these sea nettles actually can eat the comb jellies and they can almost wipe out the comb jellies uh, whenever these things are swarming. And the comb jellies, you know, uh, they're tenophores. So they're little clear, the size of like a golf ball or something like that. And they have these little cilia around them uh, for movement. But uh, and for, for whatever reason, these sea nettle uh, love to feed on them. And so both the sea nettle and the, the comb jellies can swarm, so there can be a lot of them. But man, these sea nettles can basically take them out. These can also live in brackish water, whereas you see the uh, siphonophores, like the man o' war, those are like an open ocean species that get pushed up on shore. And that's why we'd find them on the beach. But for these, similar thing happens. I mean, they're out in the ocean, but they're also found out in the bay. So they can be in like brackish water. So the ocean salinity is around 34, 35 parts per thousand. Whereas once you get up into the bays, you know, that where the rivers come out, where the rivers would be zero parts per thousand. And then the brackish area is anywhere in between. So, you know, they could be found at 10, 15 parts per thousand. These things can live uh, one year, although uh, there is a caveat to that. So the ones that are up in the bay uh, where there's lower salinity, so lower salt content in the water, they can actually live up to two years. Now, sometimes at the beach, like right now, when I'm going along the beach, there's probably one sea nettle every, I don't know, 100 yards, maybe a couple of them. But these, this particular species is known to swarm. So you can get uh, literally hundreds of these coming up at one time. Uh, now let's see, a wave just came up and uh, almost knocked all my stuff over here. But 
Um, luckily, right now, there's not a whole lot of them. You know, I'm a surfer, so uh, this last weekend I was out surfing and I would accidentally hit one with my hand going through the water. Um, but they did, it didn't hurt too bad. I did get a little sting on my knee and uh, down on my leg and it hurt for, like I said, 15, 20 minutes. It wasn't too bad uh, compared to uh, the Siphonophores man of war. Now there is a larger species you might have heard about, the sea nettle, uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Now that one can be large. So this is the one that we find in the Atlantic, in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, you know, up in our bays, is a lot smaller than the one you'd find on the Pacific Coast. Really, this one in diameter uh, for the Gulf of Mexico, uh, 16 inches is probably about the largest you're going to find of them. Um, and the one that I have right here is probably a good, I'd say uh, four or five inches. Okay, so that's about what I know about the sea nettle. Uh, hopefully if you're out here this summer, you'll be able to see one of these. My suggestion is just look at it, say, hey, I know what that is. Don't try to pick it up or anything like that. If you see them in the water, no need to stay really far away from them like you would a man of war. You know, man of war tentacles can be up to 90 feet long. Uh, these are not that way, so you know, maybe three feet in length. Uh, so as long as you stay, uh, you know, good distance away from it, you'll be fine. Okay, so we got a nice one here, and I want to let it go. You see all the arms that come down, and it, four arms, and then all the tentacles around the bell. That's what can sting you. And so I suggest do not do this, but let's go set them free. So this beauty can survive another day. Woo! Man. We'll put them a little deeper out here. And actually it gets real deep. Okay. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, look at that. Okay. That's it for this episode of Beachcombing. Hope you all enjoyed learning about the sea nettle. And uh, we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.